Welcome back to the Country Scroller. In today's video we're going to cover a topic that we have been struggling here at the DCSSW with uh, since we started woodworking. So, so stay tuned after the intro and you'll hear all about it. Since we started woodworking about four years ago, uh, before the shed shop even, before any videos were made, um, we've had trouble staying warm in uh, the quarter months as far as uh, in the shop and stuff. And uh, a lot of people have this problem I think, so that's why this video might be actually a decent one. And uh, you might learn uh, different heaters that uh, I'm going to be discussing that you might want to try out. So. And the very first shop is actually in the garage to place them in now. And uh, we had uh, like a wall set up back there because we had uh, dogs in there at one time. Because we have a like fenced in area behind the garage and stuff. And so that was a dog's area behind the, in the back of the garage. Well then uh, the dogs moved out so we started storing firewood back there. And uh, I don't know what chain of events led me to start scrolling but... I made a workbench back there, so it was all kind of secluded back there, it was real cool. So I uh, I had one scroll saw and maybe a couple drills or something, that's all I had tool wise. And uh, when I started working it was actually January of 2011 I think it was. So it was cold that time, it was winter obviously, and when I was scrolling, a lot of scrollers, you know, always using your hands to uh, move around the piece of wood and all that and the rest of your body you're not really using just your hands need to be you know warm and it was cold so I had a little space heater out and it was maybe I don't know six inches by six inch square that pumped out heat that you just plug in and for me that was good enough just to heat up my hands so I could continue scrolling because uh, with your hands being frozen you can't really you know manipulate the piece of wood uh, while you're cutting and uh, it's kind of difficult like that and for me I never was much for using gloves when I'm woodworking I know some people might use gloves um, not necessarily to keep their hands warm but to keep from splinters or whatever but uh, even like jersey gloves or whatever that you can sort of you know move your hands in and stuff I've never really been into that so my hands were always cold because uh, no gloves or anything and no heat in the shop so I just had that little heater I warmed up my hands and I was good to go for another little bit and then warm up again. So that's my first experience with heating in a workshop and it wasn't really a workshop it was just a workbench with a saw on it like I said. So once we moved into the shed shop that we very first started videos at uh, that's when we got our first heater to actually it's supposed to heat the shop but it uh, turned out to be just a hand heater as well. And the first heater we got is the Mr. Heater Buddy Heater. This unit right here. And they have a few different colors now. And they're all the same. It's They have green, yellow, red, and stuff. But it's this heater. And it is a propane heater. It accepts these one-pound cylinders that you can find in the hunting area at Walmart or anywhere uh, that sells them. And this was a really cool purchase we thought when we first got it. And uh, I can turn it on for you and show you it because I'll do a review on this, the Big Buddy and the heater we have now, which is our solution to our uh, cold in the shop problem. But this heater, uh, we got it for $89.99 at Tractor Supply. That's where we bought this. And uh, that's why it's the green one they also have. If you buy it at Lowe's, it might be orange or red, but it's still the same uh, Mr. Heater, Buddy Heater, and it pumps out 4,000 to 9,000 BTUs, and it has a, a low and a high setting on it, so low is 4,000, high is 9,000, but uh, it did a pretty good for us, and I'll turn it on again um, to show you, but this heater we intended to heat up our shop, so Dylan being fragile like he is, 
uh, doesn't handle the cold very well so all these heaters were to help him more than just me I could handle the cold but he wanted to heat up the shop and this heater it turned out didn't do that for us it was just another one of the heaters where your hands were freezing so you just put your hands in front of it for a little bit to thaw and then you could get back to scrolling but uh, but it's not a bad heater but it's not anything to heat up your shop with it says it heats up to 200 square feet or uh, 100, and, 100 square feet or something you can read the specs on the internet but it uh, takes a while to heat up that much so you'll have to turn it on and wait like 15 minutes to go out in the shop and you might feel a little bit of difference but compared to the zero degree weather we had last year it uh, wouldn't phase it so this is a hand warmer if anything so I will turn it on as well as the other heaters at the end of the video uh, because I have everything set up now so uh, that's the Mr. Heater Buddy heater we had first so when that didn't work we got the Big Buddy heater and it's uh, same style and everything except it carries two cylinders on one on each side and uh, the same ones you can buy in the hunting area or wherever uh, you can get them at and uh, this heater is a lot better than that one it pumps up to 18,000 BTUs and it has uh, two heating elements obviously because there's two uh, cylinders of propane and uh, another feature it has is it has a fan so it not only heats but it blows the heat towards you and this heater works pretty darn good actually uh, you can stand in front of it and get cooking but uh, it doesn't heat up the space very well um, it says I mean you could leave it on for 15 20 minutes like I said the other heater go out in your shop and it'll be warm but it's just uh, not an instant heat that takes a while and uh, still didn't really satisfy Dylan because he still wasn't out here very much last year and uh, the heat or the so this didn't really pack a punch in the cold air but it did uh, help you if you need to thaw your hands and it does heat up the shop if you keep it running but uh, on one cylinder or I always have both of them in but it will uh, they'll last up to about six hours I think on a, both of them in and that's on high and then just change them out and then uh, keep going but we did this for about a year and it uh, did us pretty well but this year we decided to do something even better and that is the Procom Magnum and it is a 80,000 BTU kerosene slash diesel heater uh, you can put either kerosene or diesel in it and at the beginning we used diesel but found out the fumes were just way too much uh, even with doors open so we decided to switch to kerosene and then have a fuel additive as well for it to uh, get the smell out of the air but with these heaters you really have to make sure you have ventilation and uh, it really packs a punch in the cold you only have to turn it on and then wait like one minute and you're already warm so so this is where we're at with uh, the heat situation I think we're pretty good where we're at now so now I'm gonna turn on all these heaters and show you how to turn them on uh, what it looks like how to change the cylinders and all that and uh, there'll be a review on all three of them. First we'll start with the Mr. Heater Buddy Heater. I just call it the Little Buddy since that one's the Big Buddy. And the one propane cylinder slot you can just, it's threaded if you've never used them before you just thread it up in there so I'll do that real quick. So that's in there. Now on the dial it's on off and what you have to do so you see it's lit and all I did is you actually just push it down to ignite it and then we can switch it to low and you see the flames ignite the pad or whatever that is to uh, and then we switched it to high and about a minute or two that whole uh, white pad will be orange and that's your heat so that's 
that heater and it doesn't have a blower or anything so it's again just put your hands in front of it thaw them out a little bit and uh, you're good to go but so now let's try the big buddy heater so the big buddy heater up close we have a cylinder in that side and on this side and it has two elements like I said and it also has a switch for the fan up here so to start this one it's actually the striking one the one that the little buddy is you just get over to pilot and then push it down and it lights it but this you can switch it to that with it pushed down I don't know if you can hear that but you can hear the gases going in it so if the gases is, you can let the gases out with it down and then when you strike it it'll light better if it's like the first time after switching them and then you could either go to low and it lights the left one and then you can switch to medium and then to high back there and then this And this one really heats up pretty good. And one more thing I want to point out about this heater is when this, the cylinders start to go out, the right one will empty all the way and actually the left one will have a little bit left in it so it will like cut out so all you have to do is switch it down to medium and it will cut off that one and finish emptying out that one because you'll notice that that one won't have frost on it and this one will and since it does it means that there's still fuel inside so just empty it out the rest of the way and it still produces a lot of heat just with one uh, element on so that is the big buddy heater there now for the 80,000 BTU uh, Procom Magnum heater. This is where it plugs in. You have to use an extension cord. And then, of course, the fuel cap. And it holds five gallons, by the way. And the gas gauge of it. To start it, if you've never used one of these heaters, you just move the dial to uh, however far you want. And it will start once it uh, heats up the fuel. So in a matter of a little bit of time, it will kick on. I couldn't really talk over top of that, but this heater really packs a punch in the cold air. Uh, I can have the shop closed and have it on just to get the heat in here and then open the shop. It does have a little bit of uh, fumes to it, but it's not bad if you use uh, kerosene versus diesel. And with the kerosene, I also have the additive to it to make it burn cleaner and smell. You can get a different sense of additives as well. but. So this is what we're currently working with now and it's been great. So those are the three or four heaters if you count the space heater that you plug in uh, that we have had since I started woodworking. And uh, so far the heater that we have now is the best obviously and that's the one we're probably going to end with. So those are the three heaters that we have had since uh, we started woodworking. And uh, again, if you get the kerosene heater, it does uh, have some fumes to it, so make sure you have the ventilation you need, or uh, you'll get a headache and it won't be good. And the propane heaters, they do have a little bit of fume to them, but not bad at all, so you don't have to worry about that. And also with the propane heaters, you can get the hose hookup to uh, hook up to the 20 pound cylinders, and uh, it's a size cylinder that you use for like your grill or whatever. And obviously that will last a lot longer 
with the heat than the one pound cylinders but uh if you don't want to mess with all that's just easy to go and buy the one pound cylinders so that's all i have for you about the heat in the workshop and i think we got figured out with the procom magnum here that we have and again it's 199 at lowe's that we got it for and uh, i forget if i mentioned how much the big buddy was but it's 120 129.99 so uh not too much more than the little not actually too much less than the uh, heater that I have now. So if you uh, have the extra, I suggest getting that heater. Um, of course, if you don't have a heating problem, if you have you know, heating in your house and you have an attached garage and uh, you heat with that, then you're good to go. But uh, if you're out in a barn or whatever that uh, has easy ventilation and stuff like that, the kerosene heater really works great and it has instant heat for you so you're not cold. It actually was out in a t-shirt the other day and it was getting pretty warm out here so that's kind of nice to do when uh, it's cold outside and you're nice and warm and you're shopping. Uh, nothing annoyed me more last year than being cold and not being able to do much work out here so uh, it's good also to have Dylan out here of course so uh, that's uh, pretty much it for this video. Also the sweatshirt that I'm wearing is I love to scroll uh, with the DeWalt 78 on it and uh, this comes in the DeWalt 788 and the Excalibur uh, I don't know if it's 21 but the Excalibur model of uh, sweatshirts and t-shirts, hats, apparel, whatever uh, on Steve Good's website on the scroll saw workshop.blogspot.com and scroll down towards the bottom and you'll see a link to them it brings you to a Cafe Press work, uh, website and uh, that's where you buy them from and uh, buy one of those for you. You'll be uh, styling in your workshop and supporting Steve Good as well. Uh, he's a huge part of the scroll saw community, and I'd like to uh, thank him for all he does. And uh, so, buy yourself a nice sweatshirt in this cold weather. Uh, contrary to getting heaters in your shop and staying warm, a nice sweatshirt for when you're outside your shop is nice. So.